How's it going? So man, it's uh, camp's almost over. I mean, can you believe it? Uh, has it been a long camp? And just kind of reflect on the last few weeks. Has it been a, a productive camp for you guys? Oh man, yeah. I mean, camp is camp. Every fall, it's it's gonna be long. Uh, every team's going through it though. So you know, uh, it's it's been real progressive. Our team looks like, I mean, one team compared to years like last year, whatnot. Defense, offense, we're all pushing each other. And it's been, it's been fun. This camp has been really fun. We've heard a lot about the defensive line. When you're going up against those guys, how, how tough is it and what is it like going against that defensive line? And the, the defensive line, uh, they, they made great, great strides from last year. I mean, uh, every one of them, like I said, the D tackles, the D ends from inside and out there, all on their P's and Q's. They know their assignments. They know how to get to the ball. Uh, coach Ingram, got to give it up to him. Got to give it up to Coach. They they're working them really good, and uh, we're competing every day. O line, D line. From a technique standpoint, what have you learned? What's been the biggest change to your personal game? Um, I say the biggest change is just just focusing on my first step. Focusing on. Um, just tight quarters, gotta be, gotta get your feet in the ground. Coach Hans has been stressing on emphasizing on our technique and just the language that we have to use when we talk about our techniques, like right knee high pose, left knee high pose, all, all types of stuff like that so we can communicate the same and when we're on the line, we feel comfortable executing what we have to do. Have any of the younger guys on the offensive line stood out to you this year? You know, I mean, a bunch of the young guys have been coming along. They, they're working just like us. Uh, I, I really couldn't give you a name specifically, but I mean, I feel like uh, our next up is, is a, a bright future. And whoever comes up after us, is you, they'll be ready, just like we are. Talk about trying to block Kalia one-on-one -on -one in a pass protection situation. Man, he got some heavy hands, I'll tell you that much. Uh, and. Just because he's a big guy doesn't mean he can't move. He got he got quick hands, quick feet. Uh, he knows how to set up his bull rush. So if you think he, he's gonna give you uh, some hands, then he'll, he'll come in, drop his head and drop his hands. And uh, KD is just a phenomenal player. And, uh, you know, I'm excited to see him, what he does this year. I'm excited to see how he produces for our team. Running back rooms lost a couple of guys. What can you say about the guys you're seeing in practice uh, now and needing to step up? Yeah, I mean, unfortunate what happened to RJ, but I believe that everybody's ready. Um, there's no drop off really. We got Isaiah, we got Johnny, we got Mark Anthony, and we got D Good. I mean, from top to bottom, that list is un unbelievable. Um, any of them can play. Any of them can play. So I'm not worried about that group whatsoever. What would you say kind of the development of the offense is right now? I know the first scrimmage, everyone said, you know, defense kind of won the day. You guys scrimmage the other day, offense kind of fired back a little bit. Now that you're kind of nearing the end of camp, you know, where is this offense right now? And, and how good do you think you're going to be this year? You know, I mean, our offense is just top notch. And the fact that the defense does give us a hard time is, I mean, that's just saying how good our team really is because our offense will always bring it. And if they, since they gave us a hard time on the first day, that, that just means that they got better than last year, you know what I'm saying? And then this next scrimmage, uh, I think just offensively, we're, we're just flowing and we, we just got to get all my art installs and just make everything perfect. And, yeah. Yesterday, UCF announced some you know, vision and, and plans for the expansion of the stadium and facility upgrades. And you know, we don't know exact timeline of when that's going to be completed, but how exciting is it to see that stuff from your perspective, I guess? Man, that's exciting. I mean, I hope it's within the time I'm here. Uh, I see the big stadium. Uh, I see the the river. I mean, I got a couple more years left. So, but man, the future is really bright. Uh, Coach Malzahn says that the future of college football is here, and it's true. It's not a slogan. Uh, every, everybody knows that uh, Orlando is a place to be. Uh, yeah, I mean, I just I just wish. Hopefully, it's in within the next two years that that stadium gets bigger. I want to play in front of that much crowd. You made a comment at the beginning how there's this kind of like a closer team feeling, like a bond between offense, defense, special teams. Can you kind of elaborate on that? I mean, how much closer you guys have, have come together over the last year? Man, it, it's, it's honestly surreal. The culture, just I'd say the coaching staff helped with it a lot. Uh, the culture around the building, 
Uh, basically, everyone's dapping each other up. When we know it's practice time, we know it's time to compete. Off the field, we know we can hang out with anybody on the field, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like, oh, I'm gonna hang out with my position group, I'm gonna hang out with this position group. Nah, everybody, like, I can hang out with Newt, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it just feels completely different. And I love it. I mean, it's, it's special, something special we got going on. What's it like with Dylan Gabriel in the huddle, especially like in a very tight situation, third and 12? What, what's his attitude like and how does he inspire the rest of the guys? Uh, I mean, honestly, when we're in the huddle, Tight game, tight situation. We feel confident knowing that we got 11 in the backfield. Uh, he just solid. I mean, he can deal it. Uh, he knows how to get us all right. He, he keeps us locked in, make sure, even on the O line, make sure we're ready, make sure he amps us up before the play. So we got, like, if we got to make a push, we got to make a push. And we'll do it. We'll, we'll lay our life on the line for 11. So I'm really excited. Coming off the six and four season, what's a reasonable expectation in 2021 for this team? Well, we set a standard for ourselves in the beginning of camp that we want to win the championship, the ACC championship. And that's the bottom line. I mean, I'm not going to go too much further, but that's what it is. We've got to win the championship this year. It's getting close. Uh, yesterday with the two week mark before the season, how excited are you to, to you know, begin preparing for another opponent and facing Boise here in now less than two weeks? Uh, I'm, I'm really excited, dude. It, it's it's going to be fun finally hit someone else, you know what I'm saying? Everyone says it every year, but it's true. I'm tired of just strapping it up and going against our own guys. We get to hit the, the boys all the way from Idaho. So it's going to be fun. Uh, they're a great team, but uh, we're a great team too. So it's going to be a really exciting game. Thanks, Ty. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Good luck.